Hi God, thanks for the shine. Hello people, I'm one of the people. Let's hang out. But before we go, we gotta do what we gotta do, man. It's morning time, so we're gonna take a sip and then we're gonna hop off on this bit, man. We're gonna have some fun, okay? We're gonna try to make this one quick too, okay? Hold on, let me take a sip. Yeah, that's that black coffee. That's that Dunkin' Donuts with that vitamin C, man. All right, so let's go ahead and hop on this bit, man. Okay, so you're gonna see on the screen where it's gonna say Grand Jury, Grand Jury, Grand Jury Show, okay? Grand Jury Show, that's what we're getting ready to show you right now, okay? You know, and then we got Remember the Order, all right? And then we got Private is Not Public, okay? Repeat, Private is Not Public, okay? Once you get this in your mind, you're gonna be free, okay? All right, so check out this building block, all right? We're gonna make this one quick. All right, we got this building block right here. This is that 101 F, F is in Frank, okay? It says truth, truth by whomsoever pronounced is from God, okay? Remember that and you're gonna be cool, all right? Now check out this next building block. This is 49 I, I is an igloo. It says the Christian religion is part of the common law. Repeat, the Christian religion is part of the common law. Okay, so I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm doing this for a specific reason because I'm going to be building something right now, right? And I'm going to show you the fundamentals, right? The fundamentals, right? Because before we can even go off on the grand jury and before we can get off even into the words and then show you like, well, this is what the law is. It's like, yo, you gotta have your fundamentals down, man. You know, it's just like, it's like any sport right it's like any sport or any skill that you have as long as you know what the fundamentals are as long as you know what the roots are you're gonna crush okay if you don't know what they are you're gonna get crushed all right that's basically how it goes all right so check this out we're gonna show you some fundamental right here it says word love love word god okay remember that okay and who's the word jesus christ okay remember that and you're gonna be cool man okay so check this out we got the status, we got the standing, we got the jurisdiction, all right? Then you drop down, and then it's gonna say, by God, we serve with love. What is that? That is our status, that is our standing, that is our jurisdiction, okay? We, the people, are subject to God, okay? We, the people, fall under God's jurisdiction. Who's that? That's God, that's Jesus Christ, that's Holy Ghost, okay? Remember that, and we're gonna be cool, man. You know, just know that there's a bunch of other systems out there that say different things in their books, right? You know, but you can't test their books, man because when you test their books they crumble it's like a house of cards all right check this out we got let's have some fun we love having fun man that's why we like hanging out with the word man because the word jesus christ is so much fun okay you know so check this out we got that watchdog it is written okay we're always going to show you what is written and we're going to say it is written and we're going to tell you it is written okay why because those are the fundamentals man you know so check this out we got that sneaky bride trick man so we're always focusing on the sneaky brides you know because the sneaky brides have been tricking the people out of their property for a very long time why because they follow other entities we're going to show you what they follow sneaky snake serpent creep okay so the sneaky brides are following the sneaky little serpent and the little sneaky serpent is whispering in the bride's ear and then turning the bride away from the people and then turning away the and turning away the bride from Christ and turning away the bride from Jesus or God and turning the bride away from Holy Ghost okay you know so we know that the sneaky little serpent is out there creeping man they're creeping and they're whispering and they're hissing man and we don't like that okay that's why we're here to bring our brides back home man and we're here to show them the love okay so check this out we got those eyes locked okay then we got those ears open okay and then it says showtime greetings hello brides you know so this this is for all the brides, right? Who are the brides? The brides are any entity that falls under the jurisdiction of the Constitution. Example. I fall under the jurisdiction of Jesus Christ. Why? Because I am a bride of Christ. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the bridegroom and I'm the bride and I married my husband, right? And I follow my husband and I follow my man. Why? Because that's what God told me to do. That's what Christ told me to do. And I follow what is written, man. It's real simple. So the people wrote down rules for the same way that our brides also called our entities that fall under the jurisdiction of the constitution. What are those entities? Any legislature, any executive, any judicial. Okay, so if you fall under the jurisdiction of the Constitution, you're a bride of the people and you're supposed to follow what is written. Okay, that's why we're always saying it is written. Okay, we learned that from our man, Jesus Christ. Okay, check this out. Let's keep it going. 
Okay, we got that show time. We already said that. Then we got that lecture, read, collect, gather. So we've collected, we've gathered some words, and we're just going to read them for you. And we're just going to show them for, we're going to show them to you in simplicity. Because that's our duty and that's our obligation. We're supposed to get out there and we're supposed to teach all nations the love, man. Who's the love? Jesus Christ, okay? Sorry, you can get butt hurt if you follow other systems, man. But we're always going to tell you who our roots are. Our roots are always coming from Jesus Christ. I'm a Christian, okay? I follow Christ. Christ, all right? It's real simple for me. So let me show you the words now, okay? <laughs> so much fun. All right, so check out this word. This says God's word drop. And then we got command, all right? We're going to show you what command is, okay? Command is to order, okay? And join and trust. You see that trust? We always know what that trust is, right? And then you got that C-O-M, which means with together, you know, and then you have mandare, which means to give into one's hand, okay? And whenever you see man, man is hand. That's why we're always saying man because man is hand, okay? And then you have dare, which means to give, do, to give, okay? You know, so man, give, okay? That's what we're supposed to do, man. You know, that's why we always, we're always supposed to get out here and we're always supposed to give and we give and the man gives, man. Remember that because the man is the hand, all right? You know, so check this out. Then you drop down and then you got the Exodus, man. Did we like this one? Exodus, a military expedition, okay? You know, so this is why I'm going to pause for a second. This is why I think it's kind of fun because, you know, Father, Father had me walk through the realm, right? You know, and as I walk through the realm, I walk through the sports realm, right? I walk through the military realm. I walk through the civilian realm. And within the civilian realm, I walk through the healthcare realm, okay? You know, and now I've been walking through the law realm and now I'm understanding how everything is supposed to be. And it's supposed to be in simplicity, man. It's supposed to be based off of the words as written. And now we know what's up, man. So now we're out here. We're doing our military expedition right now, man. We're on that exodus. We're on that journey, right? now why we like to shine okay so check this out let's get back to the word the the exodus is a solemn procession departure right death okay my man died right my my old man died i crucified that man okay so check this out a going out right coming from ex which means out you know and then you got that hold those which means a way who's the way jesus christ path who's the path jesus christ road that rose that shine man you know who's that that's just jesus christ man you know so jesus is always in in the words. I mean, you can see them all the time, man. That's why we're always thanking God and we're thanking Father for the shine, man, because we're thanking God for Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ showed us the way, man. He showed us the truth. He showed us the life, okay? And we're going to say that until Father taps us out, man. So if you get butt hurt because we're always talking about Christ, we're always talking about Jesus, we're always talking about God, that's what just what we're supposed to do. Why? Because we are a priest. We are a priest of God because that's what Father created us to do. And Father said, you know, you will be a priest to me, right? You know, he said, I want a nation of priests, right? That's what his people are supposed to be, a nation of priests, right? And then we got tricked out, you know, and then we were once one of the forgotten children and, you know, now we no longer wish for the children to be forgotten. And then that's why we keep laying down these words so you can see them in simplicity and you can see the huge responsibility that every man, that every woman, that every child, that every people has to do, right? We have to serve Father God and we serve Father God with love, man. That's what's up, okay? You know, so we love going on that exodus, man. That's what's up, all right? You know, so we're done with that bit. All right, so let's go ahead and hop on our next bit right here. You know, we're on that grand jury show too. Okay, here we go. We got that word drop. Let's read it straight through. It says word. Word is vere, which means speak, say. That's why we're always showing you the word. Who's the word? Jesus Christ, okay? You know, then we got that mathematics. Mathematics is to learn, okay? Remember that, man. Think, right? Then we got monster. Monster is men. Men is think, okay? That's why we're always saying think, man. Remember this, man. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. Coffee makes me burp. That's why we're always saying remember this because when you remember, you're thinking, okay? And we're trying to show you the words and we're trying to show you them in the most simplest way as possible at the root level, man. And then you drop down and you got that watchdog. Go. Okay, I'm a watchdog. That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, then you drop down and you got California Constitution, all right? Then you drop down and then you have the judicial branch, okay? And then you drop down and then you have the California courts, okay? And then you drop down and then it says civil grand jury, okay? And then you drop down and we're 
we're going to show you what the function is, right? The function is to investigate. That means to look at, okay? You know, the, the operations of the various officers, all right? That's any entity that falls under the jurisdiction of the Constitution, all right? You know, departments and agencies of local government, okay? Remember that. That's that watchdog show, okay? You know, so that's what we're supposed to do. Every man, every woman, every child, all people, we're supposed to make sure that our brides, that our governments, that our, that our entities that fall under the jurisdiction of the Constitution are operating properly and they're supposed to be operating based off of the rules as written, man. It's scary simple, right? You know, so drop down. We got that California Constitution, 1849. We love traveling back in time. And this is the preamble, right? So all the people wrote a preamble and in the preamble, we're going to show you some status, some standing and some jurisdiction, all right? Check this out. It says, we, the people of California, great to almighty god you see that in every constitution you're going to see the people are always going to be grateful to almighty god why because the people fall under the jurisdiction of god okay you know the people of california grateful to almighty god for our freedom in order to secure its blessings do establish this constitution okay boom so right there off the rip man you know so in california where people really are it's like oh no christianity is this and christianity is that yo you guys are tricked man because you don't know who the boss is the boss is god the boss is christ right the boss is holy ghost okay and then the boss told us the people to keep the garden straight and that's what we're supposed to do and we're here to keep the garden straight and now we know a lot of our our low-level entities have been listening to the serpent and then they've been tricked out and then they think that Christ is ain't Christ ain't about that life right we're here to show you that everything is always coming from Christ why because he's the king of the whole world man you know and once you know that you're going to be cool until then you're going to be subject to the low level entities that the people have created to keep the garden straight okay just know that the people have created governments the people have wrote constitutions to make sure that the co the, the world is being operated straight and then they must follow the rules as written and when they don't follow the rules as written the people have to come back and we have to instruct them okay that's what we're doing right now we're showing you the rules as written right and we're showing you to you in a very simple form in a video form right now so you can remember and you can come back and you can look at it at will and you can say is that man really saying what he's saying is he really does he know what he's talking about you can go test everything that it is and i'm saying you can go look in the holy bible king james version that's what's up and then you can check out the commandments okay you can go look in a california constitution or any state's constitution and then you can test the words that we're saying to showing you right now man we're telling you what is written and that's what you're supposed to do so any attorney we challenge you any accountant we challenge you any legislator we challenge you any executive we challenge you any judge we challenge you we challenge you to say you know tell us we're wrong you know tell us we're wrong and tell us that we ain't boss you know tell us that we're not the ones who wrote the constitution tell us that we ain't the ones that created your position all right and then if you can do that and then you can show us where it's written we're gonna be cool if you can't show us where it's written you better obey okay you better obey husband all right we're the bridegroom all right that's what's up okay you know so drop down and then it says, you know, people are subject to God. That's a fact, man. We're always going to say that. The people are subject to God, right? The people are subject to God. Why? Because that's who created us, right? The creator creates the creation, okay? So God created the people, right? You know, that's just how it goes, right? A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't understand that. And that's cool. You know, you can do you and you can find out in the end when you get judged, man, when the lights go out, okay? You know, but until then, if you don't know what the hierarchy is and you don't know what the order is and you you don't know what the commands are and you don't know what the rules are as written in the holy bible you better follow the rules that the people wrote for you in the constitutions okay you are subject to the constitutions you are subject to the creatures within the constitution if you're not subject to god okay that's just how the game goes man so all those so-called atheists out there you're subject to the people remember that and we're gonna be cool man you know so we've declared some rights and you can look at those rights and you can say oh i can do this and i can do that but if you don't know what the hierarchy 
monarchy is of the realm, you're subject to the people, right? And then the people will sick our, our brides on you and make sure that you're functioning how you're supposed to be functioning, man. All right, remember that, man. I'm a little hot right now on that one because I'm tired of listening to the so-called people who call themselves atheists, who don't believe in God, right? Who don't know what the order is, who don't know what the hierarchy is, who don't know who Christ is, right? And then they're always rambling their mouths, right? And then they got a lot of men and they got a lot of women following them, man. You know, we know that game, man. That game is real slick and it's real, it's real tricky, man. But that's why we know that we got to come and we got to oversee you right now, man, because you guys are, you guys are leading a lot of people, you know, a lot of people astray, man. And we don't like that. You know, I mean, you could do that because everybody has their choice, you know, but just know, you know, the guys, people are back and we're awake and we're here to show the people the law, man, with love. Okay. Remember that. All right. You know, so let's go ahead and hop on this bit, man. All right, let's go ahead and read it straight through, okay? So we got the Ten Commandments, okay? This is Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 through 17, man. King James Version, that's what's up, okay? Hold on, let me take a sip, man. I'm gonna take a sip of the coffee, you know, because I was rambling for a second. How are we doing on time? We're calling on time. This one's gonna run a little bit. It's not gonna be longer than an hour, man, but we do these lectures and we do them by God and we do them with love, man, because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to teach, man. All right, hold on, let me take a sip. Yeah, <laughs> those atheists got me amplified, man, because they had me trapped when I was young. You know, because they say, they say all these shiny words that look cool, right? But when you test their words, they crumble. You know, they crumble every time. It's just like, yo, man, like you ain't, you don't have that strength. You ain't got that life, man. But you can do a lot of yelling, right? You can do a lot of like, wow, you're stupid. The spaghetti monster is just like, yo, dude, you don't know what's up, man. Like every time I hang out in the Bible, I keep seeing the beauty, man. I keep seeing the beauty. I keep seeing the word and I keep seeing it in simplicity. And I'm just like, man, thank you, Father, man. Thank you for writing this one book for the people to follow. Holy Bible, King James Version. That's what's up. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and hop on the word, man. All right. So we're in the Ten Commandments, Exodus. OK, chapter 20, verse one through 17. OK, here we go. Building block one. And God spake all these words, saying, God spake it, okay? Two, I am the Lord, all caps, right? Thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thank you, Father, okay? Three, thou shalt have no other God's liturgy before me period the end okay remember that and you're gonna be cool okay you know no little g's okay no little g's don't follow any man don't follow any woman don't follow any child don't follow any people that's saying that they about that life man because we saw a lot of people who are in what they call cults right and cult means to cultivate okay you know so you got a lot of people who have charisma that can get other men and other women to follow them okay and then you can always see in the end if it doesn't turn out good you know and it's not about christ and they don't talk about christ and they don't say that you follow me, follow Christ, right? You know, then you know it's a trick. If any man or any woman says, follow me, right? And they don't tell you to follow Christ, then you know it's a trick, okay? I'm always gonna say, follow Christ. I'm always gonna say, follow God. I'm always gonna say, follow Holy Ghost. I'm always gonna say, read the Holy Bible, King James Version, that's what's up. I don't care if you follow me. I don't even really want people to follow me. I just have to throw the words down there so that people can see the words. So then that way you can see Christ. That way you can see Holy Ghost. That way you can see God. They're one. Okay, they're one. That's why we're one body service and we're here to serve the one body. But we don't want the people to follow those other tricks out there, man. And we know that they're going to trick you out with their shiny words, man, because that's just how people are, man. You know, you it's been happening since the garden, right? When Eve listened to the beast, man. So when Eve listened to the beast, right, and then Eve got tricked out and then Eve tricked Adam out and then Adam hid from God, man. That's been the game that's been going on since the beginning, man. You know, we don't want that to happen anymore. And that's why we're so thankful for God. And that's why we're so thankful for Holy Ghost. And that's why we're so thankful for Jesus Christ. Christ for paying for everyone. Okay. Thank you, Jesus, man. All right. You know, let's keep it going. All right. Here we go. Four. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth. All right. Period. The end. Okay. Don't do it. All right. Let's keep it going. All right. Here we go. We're on that uh, grand jury show three. All right, building block five. It says, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Okay, remember that, all right? Nor serve them. Okay, remember that, okay? For I, the Lord, 
all caps, right? Thy God am a jealous God. That's a fact, man. You know, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me. That's a fact, man. I happen to, I'm one of those children that was forgotten. I'm one of those children that didn't know what was up because my elders didn't know what was up because they were, they were out there serving the beast system, man. You know, and then now father had to walk me through the fire, man. Father had to shine me up and father had to say, yo, you're one of mine. You're one of my children, right? And then I'm so grateful for that. And I know, man, I don't want the children of the future to forget, man. That five building block is fire right there. Okay, so check out six. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. I love father, right? You know, and keep my commandments. I will keep father's commandments until I, father taps me out, man. And that's why I follow Christ, okay? Because Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. I'm like, got it good. You know, I love you. I will keep your commandments. I'm going to walk it out with you, man. That's what's up. I'm going to journey with you. I'm going to go on that exodus with you, man. We're going to walk. I'm going to march behind you. And then I'm going to be in you, man. I'm always in Christ, okay? That's what's up. Okay, so that's why I can talk to Pooh that I can talk because I know who my husband is. I know who my bridegroom is. I know who my commander in chief is. Okay. Do you? All right. Let's keep it going. Seven. Thou shalt not take thy name, the Lord, all caps, thy God in vain. Okay. For the Lord, all caps, will not hold him guiltless that taketh the name in vain. Period, man. Powerful words. All right. Check out eight. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, okay? That's that day you get to walk with God, man. That's that day seven, man. You know, so you get to hang out with Father and you get to be with one with Father. We like to do it all the time now. Like, we like to be one with Father. We like to be one with Christ. We like to be one with Holy Ghost seven days a week, man. You know, but just remember, you can do it on one day and keep that day special, man. You know, always keep that day of rest special, all right? You know, that's the time to remember, okay? That's the time to reflect. All right, check out nine. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work okay all right remember that all right let's keep it going all right we're on that grand jury uh show four <clears throat> ten but the seventh day is the sabbath of the lord of the of the lord thy god remember that okay look at what it's joined with in it that's that sabbath day thou shalt not do any work who's that sabbath day jesus christ you could <laughs> that's the game man jesus christ is the sabbath the people rest in jesus now right once you get that in your head you're gonna be free man just know that there's other systems of belief out there that think the sabbath day is saturday you know on day seven but it's really not the sabbath day is jesus christ okay remember that all right that's what's up. All right. In it, thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor the stranger that is within thy gates, man. Okay. Remember that. All right. It's so beautiful. We love Jesus. All right. Check it out. 11. For in six days, the Lord, all caps, you know, made heaven and earth, the sea and all and all that in them is. All right. Remember that and rested the seventh day. All right. He chilled on the seventh day, you know, wherefore the Lord, all caps, blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. OK, thank you, Jesus. All right. Check it out. Twelve. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land, which the Lord, all caps, thy God giveth thee. Okay, remember that, okay? All right, check it out. 13, thou shalt not kill. Remember that, okay? 14, thou shalt not commit adultery. Remember that, okay? You know, let's keep it going. All right, we're on that grand jury show five, all right? Here we go, 15, thou shalt not steal. Remember that, okay? 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Remember that, okay? Check out 17. It says, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover, covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Period, man. So we're done, man. You know, so those are the commandments, man. You know, those are the 10 commandments that Father wrote for us a very long time ago, and it's in the Holy Bible, King James Version, man. That's what's up. You can read it. It's the 10 commandments, Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 through 17, King James Version. That's what's up. All right, you know, so once you get those, those are the commandments, man. That's the basic. Those are the fundamentals. Once you get that under your belt, man, you're 
going to be cool and you're going to be able to walk it out and you're going to be able to walk it out in the peace and with the love of Christ and you're going to be able to show the men and the women and the children you're going to be like yo hey check this out here go the commandments man are you following them I don't think you're following them because you're doing this and you're doing that it's written it is written that you shouldn't be doing this why are you doing that you know what's up with you did someone not show you the commandments when you were a little boy or a little girl you know did your parents not teach you right did they not groom you in the word right you know if they didn't groom you in the word then you're probably going to get tricked out and you're going to follow all these other idols man all of these little g's out there okay don't do that okay don't do that because father doesn't like that all right you know so we're done now you know what the Ten Commandments, man. Scary simple service, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and work on our closeout game, man. You know, so we got that. Remember the order, okay? God, Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost. Remember this and you're going to be cool, all right? You know, you got creator creates creations. Remember this and you're going to be cool, okay? You know, it says people create the bank table. Remember this and you're going to be cool, okay? What is the bank? The bank is the table. The table is the bank. What else is the bank? The board, okay? The people create boards and then the people put people in those boards in order for them to administer the people's trust, okay? Remember this and you're going to be cool, okay? And then you drop down and we're going to show you a building block right here, man. It says observations about life, right? You know, that's that Proverbs 27, 17. King James Version, that's what's up, all right? So check out 17. Iron sharpeneth iron, right? Remember that, okay? So a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Remember that, and we're going to be cool, man. That's why we're always throwing out those words for you, okay? And then you drop down, and we got that mission. That's that send throw. That's why we're always throwing out the words, okay? You know, it says, if you wish to be boss people and help instruct, then click link in the description. That's all we do, right? All we do is instruct, right? So we go to the, we go to the public servants. We go to any entity that falls under the jurisdiction of the Constitution and we instruct them with love okay we go to the neighbors and we knock on the doors and we say hey what's up neighbor you know you want to see some love we're gonna show you some love we're gonna show you the laws is written okay because we need to get out there and we need to protect the forgotten children you want to come hang out with us that's what we do okay you know so there's gonna be a link in the description and if you wish to hang out with us in the private right and talk about some wonderful things right then hook up with us man and then we're gonna talk and we're gonna be cool all right you know so then we drop down and we got that thanks for listening listening done simple love man you know so that's it man you know i just wanted to lay out those 10 commandments right there because you know it's like yo the people don't know what the fundamentals are right you know the people always listen to little g's okay they always listen to false idols okay and you shouldn't be doing that you know it is written don't do it okay so you must follow what is written right and everything that is written is always going to be coming from the holy bible king james version or it's going to be coming from the state's constitutions right you know because that's the trust indenture contract that the people wrote for our servants okay and once you know that you're gonna be cool okay remember this all right and i'll talk to you guys in the future remember nobody's having more fun than us bye